Day five of the 13th WBSC Under-18 Softball Championships continue from Calhoun Park in Palmerston North, New Zealand. We are looking forward to the Czech Republic and Singapore with both teams coming into this round five game with two and two records with the Czech Republic in fourth position, Singapore in fifth, the winner will advance. We're pleased to be joined in commentary by Jason Gerbs Chopper. We're looking forward to what is in effect a final for one of these two teams. It is indeed exciting. Now, Group A, as you can see there, it's a log jam through the centre. Australia undefeated. They're right through. But these two nations that face off here in this matchup, of course, Czech Republic and Singapore all tied up with Argentina and Canada. They'll be later on today. So, destiny is in the hands of one of these two nations. Number 17 in the world is Singapore. Number seven in the world is the Czech Republic. That means nothing. We saw that on day one when Singapore beat Argentina. An amazing game there. Very warm conditions as there has been all week here. At Calhoun Park and uh, Palmerston North, 23 degrees. Just gone quarter to 12 local time here in New Zealand. Singapore. Team, two wins and two losses. They beat Argentina 8-3, beat South Africa 9-8. Losses to Canada 4-8 and 11-0. They got beat by Australia. Well, you can see good shots there of the Czech Republic team. All standing at attention, of course, for the anthem of the WBSC. in Palmerston North, New Zealand. For game two wins and two losses. Wins against South Africa, 7-0. Canada, 9-2. Lost to Australia and Argentina with the same scoreline, 4-3. Just by one run, Jason, they were well in those contests. Oh, they sure were. Some exciting matchups. And you, you did right when the Czech Republic win, they win well. When they lose, it's a tight match. What does that tell you? Well, they're built with a lot of ammunition and a lot of expertise and skill that they bring out onto the diamond and determination so I think after yesterday's match against Argentina getting robbed at the wire there they look to come out a little stronger today wearing 91 the designated player, Volchek Laska. Wearing 37 at centre field, Adam Lunick. Wearing 10 in at right field, Tomas Trizelek. Wearing 3 at shortstop, Tadeus Kalsev. Wearing 62 at second base, Jan Voracek. Wearing 95 on the mound, Cedric Zambi. And the substitutions for the Czech Republic. Wearing two, Jakub Osika. Wearing 16, Adam Burl. Wearing nine, Adam Liska. Wearing 20, Dominic So. Wearing 30, Stefan Mutitski. And wearing 24, Matthew Rosenkranz. And led by their management team from starting with Andre Strona. Now, for the home team of Singapore, leading off, wearing 10 at third base, Mohamed Usafi. 
We're in 25 at first base, Lo Zo Ray. We're in 38 at right field, Ignatius Ong. Wearing 35 at second base, Ian Ew. Wearing 11 at center field, Max Koi. Wearing 19 at catcher, Chong Sung Kai. Wearing three at shortstop, Audric Sia. Wearing 28, the designated player, Terence Tay. Wearing 15 at left field, Rashawn To. And wearing 90 on the mound, pitching Matthew Tan. And your substitutions for Singapore, wearing two, Marvin Ng. 18, Alden Ng. Wearing 30, 34, Jonathan Lee. 35, Brandon Tan. Wearing 16, Jason Chang. And wearing 17, Nathaniel Wee. And now the management team led by Fahan Harahap. Now the third team on the diamond today, the umpires at home plate, Wu Sung Lin from Taipei. Kyra Cox from Australia. At second base, Mitsunori Kusumoto from Japan. At third base, Andrew McManus from New Zealand. And the CEO, Ayaka Sachijimi from Japan. Now please be upstanding and remove all hats for the national anthem of Czech Republic. Now remain upstanding for the national anthem of Singapore.
Now, in honor of good sportsmanship, the players will now meet in the middle to shake hands and exchange gifts. Now, the Czech Republic ranked seventh in the world, as Chopper alluded to earlier. Singapore ranked 17th. And on day five, they both bring two and two records. Just a run differential separating fourth and fifth. The winner will advance. And today, the last round of regulation play. Jason, so a lot to play for. The Czech Republic could so easily be 4-0. Yeah, it could be exactly. And you can see the Czech Republic come out firing today. Betting lineup for them. Vic Coach, your lead off Adam Vavacek. He'll be hitting in the two spot. But the big guy is Adam Buckner. Two home runs, batting 400. He's the statistical leader for the Czech Republic this week. Jakob Vasicek will be hitting in the cleanup spot. Vacek Laska will be hitting five. Adam Luninek, Thomas Titelik will be hitting six and seven collectively. And with Tudas Koshep, the shortstop, and Jan Voracek, the second baseman, rounds out their order. A solid looking lineup for Singapore. Defensively, they go left to right in the alpha. Rishan To, Max Ko, and Ignatius Ong. They'll be the mainstay for Singapore all week here. Uzaifu Norm in the hot corner third base. Uzorjik Chia will be at shortstop. Ian Yu, Lozu Ray at second and first. Wajun Chiu Sin Kai behind the dish for the starter, the superstar from day one. That is Matthew Tan. Jason, you've seen a few of these tournaments over your long involvement in the game. You've been impressed with the quality we've seen these opening four days. I, I'm really excited to come to a uh, under-18 World Cup for exactly that, to see what type of standard we'll have. And, of course, no one's seen these athletes before because it's the first age limit that goes to a World Cup. So there are all these new superstars that you'll get to see now at the junior level. And, of course, in a few years' time, We'll see him on the big stage at the senior level. Big Matthew Tan. The pitcher. He's made some noise on this tournament. Oh boy, hasn't he? What? Matthew Tan has simply just been outstanding for Singapore. Of course, we already mentioned a number of times that historic win back on day one against Argentina. And he has pitched in three matches with a 2-1 record. He's got a 6.41 ERA from 19.2 innings of work. 22 hits, 23 runs, 19 earned runs, 20 walks, 31 strikeouts from the 84 batters that he's faced. Amazing for a kid so young. And in terms of the pathway and the future, what's the next logical step for the kids that stand out of this tournament? Well, I tell you what, if no one knew the name of Matthew Tan before this event, they sure do now. Simply outstanding. And I tell you what, he will be on scouting reports left, right and centre around the globe. And it's exciting because the island nation of Singapore, they're still on a growth stage. Still learning the game, developing the game and developing ballparks, let alone players. Now this, this kid, he's turned up to this World Cup and he has rocked the place. And his relationship with Joel Sean Kai is significant as well. well. Without a doubt, your battery pitcher and catcher have to be on the same page. It's almost, if the catcher can call the signal that the pitcher already has in his mind, then you're in a dream start. Lead-off batter for the Czech Republic. Big match up here. Coach, he's been the mainstay at the top of the order for the Czech Republic. 12 out bats through the tournament. He's only picked up the one hit. So he is looking to try and get a better percentage going from this point onwards. Yeah. 
Three balls for the... Many outstanding pitches at this tournament this week. Matthew Tart. Three balls and a strike. And Matthew Tart, because this is a few different tools in the toolbox, if you like. A drop ball that cuts into the right-hander. Nice job from Kochi. Self on base. Nice bit of hitting here by the leadoff hitter. Just gets deep in the zone and drives it where the pitcher has thrown it. So on the outer edge, he just pushes that direction. Not trying to do too much. Just get on base. Adam Buckner. It's one of those unfortunate ones, isn't it, kid? You think you've got the free base by hit by pitch, but it actually comes off his bat. So simply a foul ball, or his hand was over the zone. Either way, back in for another shot here, Vavichka. Ball one. Adam the Vavichka has been having an exceptional tournament. He's the second best hitter in the team so far. Four hits from 11. With a 364 batting average. Oh, Matthew Tan. And Babrika will make his way to first base. See Tan here trying to find his rhythm. And first three pitches to the leadoff hitter were, were all outside the zone. And then now four in a row here. Once he does find his rhythm though, he is devastating. That drop ball cuts in. There it is there. And then the lifter. That's the one that I really like from him. The rise ball that simply pops. Adam Buckner. Buckner's the MVP this week. Four from 10, 400 batting average. Uh, two big shots over the center field fence. He is the home run king of the Czech Republic. All right. All two, strike one. Jilshan Kai. Catcher. Book now every chance he gets to swing the bat, he doesn't leave himself guessing. Just tugs on that handle as hard as he can. And I guess when you're full of confidence, why not? Shinkai there asking Tan to just settle a little. Popped up, Rio. Shut stop. She is under it to make a catch, and that's the first out. That will bring us back. Number 93, the third baseman, Jacob. Standard Jackson. work here from the shortstop, Jason. Yeah, great location from Tarn, right in on the handle of the bat of Bookner. And that's why there's that weak pop up to the shortstop and easy out here for the first one. There's an error. Big field. Ian Yu. First base, now we'll bunt to runners of Corsi. Very unusual, uncharacteristic fielding is here, check swing which looked like it was destined for a standard double play here. But uh, Ian Yu just gets a little, takes his eye off it, he tries to pick it up. And loaded bases, an opportunity. Mochik Laska. Oh. 
Aluska. He comes into this match four from 12 throughout the tournament. First four days of this one, 333 batting average. He has one home run, so he's got power and four RBIs. And with the pond full of ducks at this moment, he could really add to that total in a hurry. Good result. Nice heads up play by Lo Zhu Ray, the first baseman for Singapore. Knowing he needs to go home first and make sure that the Czech Republic can't convert that run. The out was more important than first base. Adam Lunach. Dominant. And it's, but it's only early for Matthew Tan. Yeah, it sure is. And an outstanding job defensively to keep out of the jam there, loaded bases. Singapore will have their opportunity now. And they will, batting order will look like this. Uzaifei Noam will lead off. He's been there, the third baseman, all week. Losu Ray be hitting two. Ignatius Ong's in the three spot. Ian Yu, second baseman, hitting clean up today. Max Ko will be hitting before Shio Shinkai in the sixth spot for catcher. Ujik Chia, the, uh, the shortstop, will be hitting seven. It'll be Terence Tay and Rishan To that'll round out in the batting order for Singapore. Defensively for the Czech Republic, it'll be Adam Ovechka, Adam Luniak, and Thomas Tillich left to right in the outfield. In the hot corner is Jakub Vasicek. Tadas Kalshep will be the starting shortstop. Jan Noracek and Adam Buckner on the right side. Kochi will be catching for the starter. The Black Mamba, Cedric Zambi. Cedric Zombie the voices of Kakaro at school you can hear in the background. They have adopted the Czech Republic team. A bit of another school with some support for Singapore. So it's not just a battle on the field, it's a battle in the grandstand too. Singapore facing Zambi. Well, you wouldn't have thought this coming into the tournament. The Singapore national team has got a better batting average collectively than the Czech Republic. It's unheard of. They come into the this match batting as a team 271. Czech Republic batting only at 230. And Uzaifi is one of the reasons. He's a 333 himself. Five hits from 15 at bats. A perfect man to lay the table. Ball one. Strike one. Zombie. Zombie is starting pitcher here for the Czech Republic. He comes into the match with a 1.5 ERA from two appearances. Only 4.2 innings of work. Osichka has been the workhorse for them. Two hits, one run. Three walks, 12 strikeouts from the 16 batters he has faced. Bad on that. Regulation out at first base. Kelsey. 
aggressive at shortstop, makes the play to Buckner, and that's the first down. First baseman, number 25, Lozu Dre. So Lozu Dre, first base. That rise for sales over the bat there. Lozu Ray really trying to still get his tournament going here. One from 11. Sure one off the middle of the bat here would help him feel better. <laughs> I'll tell you what, luckily they breed him tough and uh, like he doesn't flinch either. What's the <laughs> what's the umpire here? Whoa! Doesn't bat an eyelid, eh? It's tough. Uh, we had men from Chinese Taipei, Yu Sung Lin, six pack behind that chest projector. Foul ball. Just oh, maybe ball one switch. of those packs is a little a little darker than the rest now. <laughs> That's right. Job. A show of athleticism. Well, this is impressive. Comes off the end of the bat. That's spiraling away. Look how far he's got to go here to make this catch. Adam Vavichka pulls out for highlight reel here early in this one. Ignatius. On. Oh. And three up and three down. Efficient start in the field from the Czech Republic. Oh, very good. Zombie gets the perfect start, really gives up no hits there, but also no one on bag. And on the flip side, of course, with the Czech Republic, they loaded the bases, couldn't convert them, left them three stranded. But good defense both ways. It's just, of course, Tarn took a little, well, took a little while to get going here. I've got to say that second out, the dive by Vizvichka here, well, that's one of the best we've seen this week. Yeah, a lot of work involved with to cover some ground. Bovichka. Confident in his ability to get it done. They're having the time of their lives, these kids. Being around them. Jason, how good is this? All under 18. Travelling the world with your mates playing a sport that you love and at the same time doing their bit to advance and grow the profile of softball around the world Matthew Tan this young kid out of Singapore has really caught the attention of all of us this past five days starts with ball one It's a bat. Good 
dead right. It's an outstanding opportunity, is it? And it is a once in a lifetime opportunity for some of these young men, that's for sure. Getting to play this wonderful game, travel the world, and I tell you what, it's a once in a lifetime to be here to witness, witness them playing as well. Gets himself on base. Good start. Only the second hit of the match before the Czech Republic, but it's a good one. He just reaches over, pulls it over into the 5 6 hole. Lead off runner on. Shake to bunt. Catch is not taken cleanly. And an easy advance for Tomas Tillich to second base. Well, opportunity early, early in the match again here for the Czech Republic. Runner in scoring position. to see whether the Czech Republic go for the sacrifice bunt here with no outs. Not taken cleanly is an error. So Tritelic advances to third and Kelchev safely on one on first base. So there's the era. Or no outs, runners on first and third, Jason. Yeah, just uncharacteristic though, uh, defensively for Singapore here, that's two errors within the first two innings. And uh, to be fair, the shortstop, Gosep, he had plenty of time there to stay back in. So I should say cheer for Singapore had plenty of time to stay back in there to field that. It was the opposing shortstop that was batting, so there's kind of that game within the game. It's 1-0 now, I guess, to the Czech Republic shortstop in that little game. Shigan Vorchik at bat. here. And Singapore have no choice but to bring in Ian Yu and Audrey Chia, the second baseman and shortstop. Now yeah, taking it first. Well, they did the potential to go wrong, but they got out of that well. Very lucky there. Matthew Tan, deflection off the leg. And otherwise it would have been two runs because that would have trickled into centre field with the pace of the Czech Republic on the base path. Matthew Tan though, he just shakes it off. I'm okay, don't need a trainer. Goes back to business. We're back to the top of the order. Oh gee, it's a good piece of that. Very good piece. Goes in behind Mexico. Scores the runner, gets himself to second. Kochi. Slamming it to the back fence. And that will score the runners of Kutlak and Kelsey. And that will reach back. Well, a nice and aggressive hitting here from the starting catcher from the Czech Republic. Just drives that drop ball on the outside edge. Puts a charge into it. One bounce to the bottom of the fence there. 
And the Czech Republic will play the first two runs of the ball game. They lead 2-0. I wonder before we came to the ballpark today, Ken, whether Singapore would start Matthew Tan. The reason I asked that question to myself was that he's their ace. We all know that. He's an amazing pitcher. If they win this match, it's historic. They make it to the Super Round. But if they don't, they need him for the placement round to try and finish high in that division. So... If the Czech Republic do pick a bit of a lead here, you can see if they will go to someone from the bullpen from Singapore. Ball two, strike two. Well, it's that dilemma. Isn't it, Jason? Do you start your best team and throw everything at it? Try and get it done. So full house, three and two. Catch taken comfortably. Popped up and under is the second base. Two outs. So with two outs, Vavichka will actually stay out on the field. He'll run for the catch of Kochi at second base. Obviously allow Kochi to go in the dugout, put his catching equipment on so we can switch over nice and quick between innings. Adam Buckner at bat, the first base. We mentioned that Matthew Tan has been the workhorse for Singapore on the hill, minding in two innings before this one started. Well, 43 pitches to start this match, only 23 of them strikes. So, still looking to find his groove. Two and two for Matthew Tan. Buckner. The bottom of the second. Make the play first. And we'll go to the bottom of the second. The Czech Republic score two runs and lead this one. Czech Republic two, Singapore nil. I'd say head coach Strona from the Czech Republic would be a lot happier after converting those runs on base there with leaving loaded bases stranded in the first innings. So Vitkochi, two hits from two today. Obviously the second one producing the runs they've got. I think he maybe he doesn't have to pay for dinner tonight. <laughs> Cedric Zambi. But Kochi catching to him. Just joined our coverage of day five. Both these two teams out of Group A coming in to this contest, two wins and two losses each. The Czech Republic in fourth position. 
Singapore in fifth, six teams. Ian Yu. Second base. It's a good piece of that. Gets himself comfortably to first base. I was waiting for that, Kent. Every time I've seen Singapore bat well, and they've bat, they batted well, very, very well throughout the first four days of this event, it's when they've been aggressive on the first pitch. They don't muck around. They try to put the pitcher on the back foot. You can see there a solid strike to start off the bottom of the second innings. And now Max Court. after Zambi as well. Max Coat. <laughs> Out at first and the runner advances to second. Good his job, Jason. Yeah, Jan Voracek, he's been solid at second base for the Czech Republic this week. And uh, I think one of the reasons why he's been solid, just his footwork, he manoeuvres his body in behind the location. See him moving to his left-hand side there. Without good footwork, it's very hard to make those plays. No Chio Shin Kai and catcher at bat. Ball one. One and one. Shin Kai. One and second. Cedric Zambi, you can see that he throws with good velocity. What we haven't seen from him yet in this match, he's got this nasty slow curveball. Normally a change-up. There's one that dips down and looks like a drop ball, but he's got that one, but he's also got this one that's like a frisbee, if you like. <laughs> uh, you don't see it very often, and he does possess one. It'll be interesting to see when he brings it in or how he brings it in. Three and two. Zombie, big pitch. Third. The swinging bunt here off the bat of Shinkai. But you see Zombie spring off the mound, get right down there and field that quickly. He does so well. Very athletic, the pitcher here for the Czech Republic. Audric Chia. Fives, fair batting average. Outstanding contributor, that's for sure. No two balls. Interesting thing with the uh, 
Singapore batting averages, as you look up and down their lineup, is they all contribute. And I mentioned that they've got a higher batting average as a team than the Czech Republic. But there's some with just one or two hits, but everyone has got on the ball. Strike one for Zambi. Ball three. Good patience there by Chiyot. Just taking his time, not swinging anything outside the zone. Terence Tay. Old Terence. Tell you what, Terence, when he gets an opportunity, he takes it. He's only had the one out bat in the tournament, and he's got a hit with it. He did drive in two runs with that hit. Good strike. Like two. Two outs. Interesting cheer there, running from first base to second. He tried to do the deep move. Slowed down halfway on the way to second base, trying to tempt Czech Republic defense into a trap, throwing down there. So hopefully his counterpart, you at third base, would take off to home. Yeah, that was a great ball from Zambi to end that inning. We now move to the top of the third with the Czech Republic ahead by two runs to nil. Thanks again for joining us here at Calhoun Park day five. Just look at the face there of the stunning catcher for the Czech Republic. Coach, he's all business today, isn't he? And that's because the Czech have been playing outstandingly well through Group A. And group A has been the group of death. Four very strong teams. Excuse me, changed the record. It's actually five now for the way that Singapore have been playing. Remember, only three teams will go through to the Super Round starting tomorrow. So it'll be interesting how this game develops and who's the one that's going to take take their opportunities the most. Obviously, Czech Republic in the first innings couldn't take an opportunity. They did in the second by planning runs. Singapore, with their first chance, couldn't take an opportunity. It's all about moments, isn't it? It is. And this tournament itself is a very big moment for the game. It's the 13th time that this tournament has been hosted around the world. Weather has been very kind indeed. Couldn't get any better today. I, I tell you what, I've especially when I met the uh, Czech Republic team this morning. I said, Have you all got suntan lotion on today? Because today is a postcard day here in Palmerston North. Tan reminding us how quick he is. Easy catch.
Aggressive showing from Matthew Tan. He's opening a couple of pitches. Normally this is the period of the game where Tan does actually take over. So we need to see if he can make the adjustment against these heavy hitters from Europe. Or if the Europeans will make the adjustment to just keep on going against Tan. The Wushtek Lushka. Czech Republic. Swing and a miss. Nice job, Matthew Tan. The difficult thing here, that pitch from Tan is two-dimensional. I think it's a drop all that dips down, but it tails away, so it cuts in two different directions. Very hard hit, ball to hit, but even if you do hit it, it tends to come off as a weak ground ball to the left side. To strike two. Interesting approach here from Shin Kai ordering the uh, varied pitches using both sides of the plate here, trying to keep the heavy hitter Winniak just off balance a little. Winniak. So full house now for Winniak. Two outs. Now Matthew Tan. Hey. Oh, struck some outs, Matthew Tan. And he gets him looking for the strike. Well, he goal. dominated that inning, Matthew Tan, didn't he? He sure did, and, and it's the same. We normally yeah. see him around about this part. He takes over the game for Singapore. And, of course, the first batter pops up high to the shortstop, but no power in it. And then he says, look, all right, boys, I'll take care of it defensively from here on out. I want you to do something for us offensively. Gotta say, the home plate umpire there, Yu Sung Ling, almost looks like one of those characters out of the uh, Street Fighter game, isn't he? With that punch out. <laughs> it's a bit of character and personality to the sometimes humdrum of sport, Jason, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice to see that. I think you see that in the kids. That's one of the reasons I like watching this uh, level of sport 
the youth level of sport is that unknown happens as well, and it makes it a little bit more exciting. Leading off number 15, the left fielder, Rashawn Tan. Rishon tied it. Ball from the zombie. Rishon tied 12 at bat so far throughout the first four days. Two hits to his record. One of them, big one, triple. Kochi, catch up. Strike two, ball one now. Work by the umpiring crew there. Just quickly checked with the first base umpire, Kira Cox from Australia, to see if the batter swung on that offering. And he did. She calls it a swing, so that'll be the third and the first out of the innings. Rosafi. Well, bat now for Singapore. Third baseman. Base hit. And a final gap up the middle that will bring the bat. Number 25, the first baseman, low, low, way. When they get a hold of the ball, you see if the stroke is solidly hit up the middle here. They really do come off fast from the bats of Singapore. I, do, I love the way they stroke it. Low, Zhu Ray, first baseman now at bat, one out. Runner on first, Singapore. And the shape to bunt. And Zuffy advances to second. Nice play from Singapore. As that runner moves into scoring position here for Singapore. Remember, it's only a two run ball game at this point if one comes in, even closer. We do have some action in the bullpen. Number 20, Dominic Schubert is up and warm. Low. Zuray. Fantastic location. How good's the frame job from Kochi behind the dish there. Right and snaps it on the outside edge. Good pitch. Good catching. Nicely done, Zimbabwe. Zombie. And he gets the strike out. Pretty sick now. Two outs are Singapore. 
We'll have a runner on second. Nicely done. Cedric Zumbi. Strike. Nassius on. Foul ball, so strike two. Hefty delivery here. You can see that Zombie's just trying to turn the dial up a couple of kilometres. He sensed that Singapore want to get themselves back in the game. He does not want to allow them to get one run across home plate or give him a whiff. Very nice finish from Zambi. So both pitchers in the last two innings have shown us something, Jason. They sure have, stepping up to the plate, isn't it? But it's a fourth strikeout today for Zambi. He does look good when he can get it spinning both ways. I like his rise ball. He's got plenty of velocity and being able to hit that outside edge with precision is paying off for him today here. And the whole team is celebrating because of it. Singapore on the other side, they're just struggling to convert their runners once they get them into scoring position. Singapore have left three runners stranded on base so far throughout the beginning of this match. Already through three innings complete. Well, you talked earlier on, Jason, about the significance of Singapore and their rise in the world of international softball. A rich, affluent country with a great deal to offer the advancement of the sport. It sure is, and talking to their delegation, they're doing lots of work behind the scenes in Singapore. Of course, an island nation, so new facilities are being built, new people are getting engaged with the sport, and I tell you, with the success of this team here in Palmerston North, it can only be good for their sport back in Singapore. Tan. Easy catch. Pitcher's best friend, isn't it? One pitch, one out. Tan will take that all day. Remember, he's thrown a healthy amount of deliveries throughout the match. Been the major workhorse on the hill. Adam Buchner at bat for Czech Republic. Singapore, though, just in case if there is. <laughs> if there is some trouble for Matthew Tan coming from these Czech Republic bats, they do have a precautionary measure. Have a pitcher up in the bullpen. Loosing up, number 60, Jason Chen warming up. So ball one, strike two. Fellowship, the shortstop, you remember. He got those kids from Karaka School up out of their seats when he drove it hard into the shortstop back in the second innings. Takaro School from Palmerston North here supporting the Czech Republic. Two up and two down. Popped up. And the so North Street School from Fielding here in support of the Singapore team with the organisers arranging for schools to adopt nations. Isn't that great having the school kids here throughout the week? Chance for them to see an international softball played on their back doorstep. 
And, of course, uh, I never complained about getting a day off school <laughs> out of the classroom, that's for sure. Yeah. Laura Check and Matthew Tan. Very, very impressive tournament. Strong in the last inning. One and two. One of the things that I like about Matthew Tan is he doesn't muck around when he's pitching. What I mean by that, in between pitches, he doesn't muck around. They have a 20 second clock here to spur the pitches into pitching quicker between pitches. You'd be lucky if he gets down to 10 seconds. He just goes back, stands on, and before the catcher is giving the signals, he's already starting to deliver the pitch. And he was expecting a strike out then. So full house for Jan Voracek. And a foul. This under 18 level, World Cup level, it must bring back memories for you, Ken. Back in Wainui Yamada playing the game of softball. Back in the day. I wasn't. Put it this way, I got struck out a lot. Three up, <laughs> three down. And get some for for Singapore. Out. Two runs to the good for the Czech Republic as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Is that drop all that cuts inside? That is tough to hit. Matthew Tan. He's having some tournament, this kid. They provide a lovely backdrop. The kids that are here in the North Street School fielding and Takaro. Takaro, a score from Palmerston North, supporting the two teams. Perfect colours for the Czech Republic too, aren't they? The school uniform there at Takaro. This combination of uh, Zambi. Like uh, a few running repairs for the umpires, just to find a bit more suntan lotion. Beautiful day here at Gallon Ballpark, clever idea. Ian Hewitt bat. Cedric Azambi on the mound. Zombie out there. You comfortably taken out in left field. Way back in left field, but Rodrigo is under it to make the catch. And we're now bring back to center field at number 11. I was going to say that Zombie's just hardly even breathes. When he's out there, but I tell you what, this one almost got out of here. Would have been breathing a little firmer after that. But he just seems settled out there, doesn't he? 
Even he took those sunglasses off, I don't even know if he blinks. Max. Co at bat. Delayed ball and an easy catch. Two running away. Nicely done. From Kalchev. He's been outstanding, hasn't he? At shortstop. Good range. Good and aggressive in the batter's box. Nice catch there. This is Chut. Shouldn't Kai. Catch up. Some skill in this catch. Some on the front foot, doesn't he, on the change up. Look, all the way behind third base there by the time the shortstop makes that. Very tidy work. You're up. Chileas. Jushun Kai to make first base. Hard ball to take coming low and on the ground. Right, it's hard to steer that time, didn't it? Kel Ship, the shortstop for Czech Republic, but that levels the score on the hit column now. Three hits apiece. You know, the two runs have been converted in the Czech Republic, so Singapore. Like Audra Chia. First base, Audra Cheer at bat. Big swing and a miss. And this makes Koh out there to run for the catcher. Shin Kai, because it's two down at this point. The obvious Jason home run would be nice. Here, Flick tied up at this point. Next co down at first base does have a stolen bag so far in the tournament. And he steals at second. Mexico. Just the benefit of being at second base as a base runner in this situation. A single would score him with that type of pace from there as well. So. Singapore now with another prime opportunity to score a run. Ball three, strike two, and two outs with a runner on second. Singapore. Chia did pick up a walk in the second inning, so seen a lot of pitches. Head coach Hutter up there. He'd be keen to convert a run. Feels like these two teams are just sailing through this game at this point, doesn't it? Cheer. Oh, good, nice job from the Czech Republic. And with that strikeout, that would be the third out of the inning. We have four completed. We talked before. Jason about the significance of the rise of softball in Singapore. 
of the Czech Republic where the game is a little bit more established. These types of competitions obviously enhances their own high performance programs. Well, they've had an amazing time in the Czech Republic. Of course, they were the host of the 2019 Men's World Championship in Prague and a rich abroad. And it was the first time ever a senior men's World Cup had been hosted in Europe. It was groundbreaking, and I tell you what, what a beautiful city to host it in. Got to go to the opening ceremony at the Mayor's residence in Old Prague, part of the downtown city there. And I tell you what, it's so beautiful there. Everywhere you looked, it basically looked like a painting on the wall. We've got some enthusiastic support here, the Czech Republic. Why wouldn't you get half a day off school? Come and watch some softball. How good. Miss, can we come tomorrow too? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there'd be a few of those at the bus be. week to school, right? Mum said we can. What about Dad? Dad said good too. <laughs> <laughs> With the halfway stage of our tournament, this is game 26. On day five of this, the 13th. Matthew Tarn starts. As Vic Kochi. Catch up for the Czech Republic. That ball is in the air and left field. Loses it. What looked like a pretty simple catch, so it ends up being a two base hit. Yeah, unfortunately for Rishan Toe here, he's in the right location, right vicinity, but then the sun is right there as well. You see the pink of his hat, and he just can't quite see it as it goes into that spot that just blanks you, and he's got to turn and try and find it. Kochi in full flight. Offers a double. That, that's good, isn't it? Another era. Kochi advances. Another two base hit. So back to back positive plays for the Czech Republic now with a runner on second and on third. With Adam Buckner up to bat. Sometimes it just finds you. A little Texas ligger here that pops over the. Shortstop and the left fielder again, Toe needed to throw that to second base to keep the hitter Ovechka at first base there. Now they've got two runners in scoring position. The Czech Republic, big guy here, Buchner breaks it open. I think Tarn's day may be shortened. Big, big, how about that? How about that? And that ball is out of here. Great job, Adam Buchner. Runners on second and on third, scores them both and himself. Kochi, Vararicca, and Buchner. Well, you can see he's had a couple of different celebrations. That's because he's been working on his third home run of the tournament. The first baseman simply on fire for the Czech Republic, and he didn't just get some of that one, he got all of it. Big turn, front foot, all explosion off a power inside pitch from Matthew Tarn. And that Higgins truck was in jeopardy again because that missile was heading out of here. Oh, Czech Republic celebrate a big play and why wouldn't they? Remember the winner advances to the playoff rounds. Loser to the minor placings. So that was a very big strike for the Czech Republic hitting that home run with two runners on base. Laying the table there, wasn't it? That uh, it doesn't go down as an error. That first fly ball that went to left field that got in the sun. But boy, when those things drop and they should be outs, they always come back to haunt you, don't they? They're living the dream, these young kids. Well, 
my only regret, Jason, I'm not their age. Well, I tell you what, no regrets having you here, sir. <laughs> looking forward to you coming in all week. And I tell you what, your entrance yesterday lived up to expectation. Another good hit. The ear up. Rossi Chick. Easily to first base. And with back to back to back to back hits here in the top of the fifth innings, it will be the end of the day, unfortunately, for Matthew Tarn. I mean, he has been the workhorse. He's done an amazing job for this team from Singapore. And he will walk off to an applause from the crowd and an outstanding work. Four innings of work, in fact, seven hits of five runs of four of them earned, one walk, three strikeouts from the 84 pitches that he has thrown. And it will be the man from the bullpen, number 16, that will take over the left-hander. That is Jason Chen. Well, he's been in an amazing form. Matthew Tan. He's been a workhorse. He's got good variation. He's got plenty of power, plenty of pace. He's competitive and he's intense. And his workload has been phenomenal, but he will now sit down. And Jason Cheng. Jason Chen, he comes in with only a small sample size into this match. We mentioned the majority of the work had been done by Tarn, so only one appearance, 1.1 innings of work, a walk, two strikeouts from the four batters he's faced here. But coming in in the top of the fifth innings, he's going to see a lot more work now. Five nil. favour of the Czech Republic earlier in this tournament beat South Africa 7-0, beat Canada 9-2 but they lost to Australia and Argentina by just the same four runs to three, could easily have won both of those the two wins and two losses Velchit Rosenkrantz. Is that bat? Ching. Rosenkrantz for the bunt. Taken at first base, but he advances. The runner does his job. Perfectly executed there. Low zero. The first baseman picks it up. Checks to see if he can get the lead runner. No chance. Just put it in the right spot. He does sacrifice his out to advance his countryman. The scoring position. Nicely done. He's out at first. Ching. Luniak, his third at bat here. And I was going to mention that as we got to the top of the innings, Ken. It's one thing to go through the batting order twice, but once the bats have had three looks at a pitcher, that tends to be the time things may change. But Luniak does his job and advances. Basicic to third. So there he is. Jakob Vasacek getting to third base. And in a scoring position. Thomas, Tomas, Tritilek. Ching. Comfortably. 
taken at centre field. Sending it to centre field where Max Coe is under it to make a play. That is the third out. That will retire the side and then go to the bottom of the fifth after that home run from Bochner scoring himself and two others. You said Czech Republic early five, Singapore. Singapore nil. Very good account of themselves as well coming into this game. Two wins and two losses with a very good win over Argentina, 8-3. Beat South Africa, 9-8, and then they lost 8-4 to Canada, 11-0 to Australia. Cedric Zambi, equally impressive, this young kid. He's been outstanding today, both up and down in the zone. Plenty of power, but it's the composure that's impressed the most about Cedric, the Black Mumbo, they call him today. He's a cool customer, and I'll tell you what, you would take a digger, a truck, a loader to try and get him off the mound here. He'd be really wanting to complete this job in this matchup and give his country the chance to go to the Super Round, of course. They win this one, they'll go to a three and two record. The only two teams that can catch them now is Argentina and Canada. They'll play later today. The Czech Republic if matchups with Canada was good. They beat them, remember. But Argentina, they lost them, so there could be a three-way tie. So be interesting how it develops after this one. up to bat for Singapore facing Zedrick Zambi it's a little bit on that and will win the race to first base Marvin Ning a throw not able to be made by Vasacek and he is safely on base well, a perfect master stroke there pinch hit from Marvin Ng coming in for Terence Tate and gets the job done straight away Nathaniel Wee is at bat. It's a bunt to advance. Well, with a school on it, five runs to nil here. Coach Farahump from Singapore deciding to empty the bench. Nathaniel Wee comes in to pinch hit here for Rashan Toe. So why not get them all in the game? Good idea. Miss strike two. Nice. It's some bad on that. Advances the runner to second. He gets himself to first. Nathaniel Wheat. And Matthew Ng coming from the bench and making an immediate impression. Outstanding, isn't it? Two pinch hitters, two back-to-back -back singles. Laying the table as they flip it around this time for Singapore's chance. As you see him stroke the ball, go to the top of the shot, be their turn to go third time through the lineup. Big, big shot. Over. All scored. They celebrate Singapore. Seemingly down and out. And when it matters, a three base home run. Three runners scored. And straight away, Jason, they're back in it. Singapore three. Well, somebody call the dog pound. The puppies are out of the yard. It's a three-run shot from Uzaife Norham. He just blasts it the other way. They're head down, stroke through. 
And all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, this game has come to life. A two-run deficit, now 5-3. Wow. Third time through the lineup, we said sometimes be damaging, but I didn't see a three-run shot coming from the first guy. What a shot. Absolute delight. Moham was Zafi. Young kids with so much talent and all their softball in front of them. First On tour around the world with their friends. Playing a game they love, living the dream. First home run of the tournament for Singapore too. What a time to bring it out. Well, let's not be mistaken. If Singapore can go back and win this one, they could possibly go to the Super Round. Never in the history of softball has Singapore ever qualified for a playoff round or a Super Round at a World Cup. No, right. Oh, struck on the arm, so... He'll go to first base. Just like one of those ones that look worse than what it actually was. It does come off the forearm, but his, his reaction of pulling back, I almost thought he got clicked it in the, uh, in the chest or the head. But just off the forearm, deflects away, so he'll probably take that one any time. This brings in Ignatius Ong to face Cedric Zumbi. It's some of that as well. Ignatius Ong. Zolu Ray advances to second. Ignatius Ong is at first. They've got no outs. Well, we talk about momentum changes in sport. Are we looking at one? Five batters, five hits. It was just one off the forearm of Zhu Ray. It was one of those hits. That's what's happened here at the top of the fifth innings. It's the third time through the order, and but the third time is enough this time for Singapore because they will knock off the hill. The starting pitcher for the Czech Republic, Cedric Zambi, he'd been coasting through the first four innings of this match, but the fifth proving difficult to get out of. So they've made that pitching change. It's a real powerhouse. Jacob or Sishka. Well, it's the big guy they go to. Wow. Didn't see that coming either. But remember, the Czech Republic must win this game. This is the big guy, the big ace. Osechka. He comes in with a 2-2 two two record, a 1.57 ERA from his four appearances. 22.1 innings of work. Here's the Iron Horse. That's where their hopes are. 21 hits, 9 runs, 5 of the moon, 4 walks, 43 strikeouts. That's the key. He's a strikeout king. He's given up a couple of doubles, a one home run and a triple from the 90 batters that he's faced. Again, let me read it. 22.1 innings of work. That right arm still go. This is what he's been like in these opening four days. He has been dominant. You can see he's big, fast, aggressive, very intense. He's coming on to try to close this game out. Wasishka. Big, tall right-hander from the south of the Czech Republic. I heard about him before he landed. He said he was another new great white hope coming out of the Europe. This is the kid they've all been talking about. This is the kid that took them through Guatemala in a qualification event down there for the Americas. They were there as a guest and they ran the table. No one could touch them. One of the big reasons this kid right here.
This is some communication between the home plate umpire and the head of their coaching delegation. That's Rozav Kozak. He's actually the head coach of the men's team, but here directing this U18 team as well. He's not happy about something. The runners did advance, and I feel maybe that was because of an illegal movement or pitch. Ian Yu. Well beaten by a good pitch then. Ian Yu. Two strike two. Ball three. Remember, it was Osichka that threw all nine innings of work, or well, the the lion's share of it anyway, against Argentina yesterday. So 114 pitches out of the right arm yesterday. Now he has to go again today. They would have been hoping not to use their race against Singapore. Runners on two and three. No outs. Ian Yu. <laughs> nice reaction from... Osishka. Great composure, look, he checks the runner back, he's no chance. Once he made that runner leave his feet, he could never go home there, then makes the out. That is cool, calm and collected. Oh, Mexico comes back. Just the one out. Co, beaten by the pitch, strike one. will just beat him for pace, doesn't it? Right, two. That's it. If it works once, you're going to go back there again. Identical pitch. Identical result. See with this jam, two runners in scoring position, both the third baseman. Asichik and Kochi, the catcher, scampering over to the fence in the hope that that one stays in fair territory to make the catch. They help their pitcher out here. Ooh, too good. Too good. Asichka. Just see the velocity. The rise ball is good. The drop ball is good. Osichka is good. Okay. Catcher. Pull it back. Runners on second and third, or Sishko's been under the pump. And he 
gets it done. See the players that have been pitched into this contest from the bench, all of them have made a immediate impressions. Boy, oh boy, haven't they? Well, Osiska was good at shutting the door, but the pinch hit. They came in from the two Singaporean lads off the bench, and we. And then the big shot from Uzaifi Norham, the three-run shot that's made this interesting. The three-run shot that has brought the superstar Usichka out of the bullpen and into the game here on back-to-back -back days. Czech Republic going to have to expend it because... They want to join Australia and Japan, don't they, in the Super Round. Both of them undefeated. We saw a bit of communication with Yurosav Kozak there on the right side with the home plate umpire. Yu Sung Lin, and he was a bit animated about it. It looked like there was no pause from the very first pitch from Osichka, and he got called for an illegal pitch on the very first offering when he came out of the bullpen. And he had a delegation, Korzak, he was not happy about the way his star pitcher was treated then. He's come out twice now just to get his point across. Well, it's a must-win game for both. There's a lot at stake. And they were comfortably ahead five runs to nil at one point before Singapore came back emphatically with a home run and two runners on base for all three to score. <laughs> Jason Chen. Foul ball. We're going to see how was a ball game here, Ken. Czech Republic, though, when every time you give up a run, you always want to answer right back. So we'll definitely try to do that here in the top of the six. Tanius Kalchev. Out, Jason Ching. Little curveball action, isn't it? It starts as a ball miles away from the strike zone. Then he bends it into the back corner, clips it, says goodbye. Looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter here. Adam Ball. He's coming in for Jan Vrosicic. Singapore come into this contest ranked 17th. Adam Ball. Cheng. Swing and a miss from Ball for strike two. Doing this match between Singapore and Argentina on day one, and I felt Singapore broke it into small opportunities to match the whole way through. Easy out at right field. Oh, 
And a ball, two outs. It's not quite onto this one properly was the pinch hitter. Oh. But I was talking about those opportunities, and I could see different players taking little opportunities through the whole match. What they did by doing that, Singapore, is they added them all together, and it was an amazing game. Just watching Jason Chen on the hill here coming in, left-handed reliever. He's definitely taken an opportunity since he's been out there, hasn't he? Yes. Kochi with a foul ball. King. Rising ball. Couldn't deal with it. Ching. Foul ball. Strike two. Ball one. Clipped on the way through, so gets a. It's the first base. Well, probably not a bad result, to be fair, Ken. I mean, Vit Coach has been outstanding, hasn't he? Single to right in the first innings, a double to centre in the second, and then a single to left in the fifth. He's been hitting all quadrants of the field. The only thing that was left was a home run, really, so a free pass, not a, probably a bad result in this situation. Barichka. Strike one with that foul ball now. Was such go with a mixed bag today. A walk in the first, flew out to second in the second innings. He was part of that roll with a single left field in the fifth. Jason Chen, when he throws his rise balls, a left hander, it bends in towards the batter. And you can see there that one, a Gillette close shave. Ball two, strike two. The rich car gets something on that. Foul ball. Good work by Adam Ball to steal second base. We haven't seen many stolen bases in this contest, though. It's a little unusual, but I think it's just the tightness of the match that hasn't allowed that to happen. Rich car swing and a miss. Struck out. Jason Ching in full flight. 
Be a little again. moments, winning a little moments, and Jason Chen is taking his by far here. He's been outstanding since he came in. First three batters he faced, and the 15s retired them all. And then now, apart from the hit pitch mistake on that curve action on the rise ball, he does retire the other three batters. And I'll tell you what, he. We, everyone's talked about Matthew Chan all week since that historic win over Argentina. But now he's sitting on the bench. He's like, well, you know what? I want to be a Matthew Chan. A Matthew Tan, apologies. And Jason Chan is definitely showing he's got some calibre himself, the left-hander. Well, Cedric Zabi was very impressive in the opening part of this game. Matthew Tan, who was the starter for Singapore, to Young. Outstanding pitches from now. Jason Gerbys was leading to Jason Cheng, and this boy, Jakob Osishka, has got some power and some presence. Well, he's outstanding on the top. He's a tall man for starters. But when he leaps down the track there towards the batter, He gets so close to them, and then the slingshot comes as he lands. The velocity follows, and very tough pitcher to hit, that's for sure. Audra Chia. Foul ball strike two. Remember, Singapore had scored two runs in the bottom of the fifth innings. Then they brought in Osuchka. He gets a ground, grounder back to him that he handles. And that struck out the first out of the end. That will bring it back. Good luck for him. Number 28. Cheer. He handled that drop ball without blinking an eye to Osuchka, the first batter he faced. And then the next three batters he's faced now, the first one from this innings as well, right? Have uh, all been strikeouts. So the strikeout king showing his presence here in today's match. Strike one. This one didn't miss by much. Remember it was Marvin Ng in the fifth innings that came in to replace Terence Tay. Hit that leadoff single. That wasn't against Osichka. That was for the original starter, Zambi. So first time seeing Osichka here. Ball from Sishka. Yes, and he makes it. If you ain't good job, one out. One out, safe on first base, down by two. This is tough. They call it a swinging bunt because it's a full swing. No one's up the field, that one. And with the pace of Ng, it'll sprint down there in no time and take that gift for sure. Nathaniel 10. Nathaniel was the other pinch hitter who came in and stayed in the game. Oh, the short bump. Nathaniel Wee is going to be taken to first base. But he advances. Marvin Ng to second. 
Well, 101 softball here. Good defense, though, by the third base. Look at him crash in on this bunt play and make a throw off footed right on the money. So, defensively, Czech Republic doing it correct. Buzafi. Marvin Ng steals the third now. Well, even with two outs here, the big guy can come up and really rock the party. A three-run shot back in the top of the fifth innings to go with his RBI those are his hard hits to center field in the second. Uzai feet. You can see he's looking for another big shot here. Uzai feet. This little battle between pitcher and batter. Usishka. Outstanding today at the plate, the right man at the right time. Norsishka well, gets it done, leaves Singapore with a two run deficit still. As we come to the top of the seventh, just the two runs and what's been a very good contest. Outstanding contest, Osushka sham, rams the door shut again. The velocity, the revolution on the rise ball, and it'll get the right arm of umpire Ling up every time. Outstanding performer, no wonder they talked about him before the event. I wonder they talked about him all last year, this kid, Oziska. Watch out for him, they said, Chopper. I'll tell you what, I have been watching out for him, and I've been impressed with what I've seen here, Ken. An outstanding young prospect on the world stage. Exactly, under 18. On the world stage for softball and baseball, the WBSC softball. Baseball and Softball Confederation are doing big things, and no wonder they're doing big things. There's approximately 65 million people playing the sport these days in 140 different countries around the world. It's one of the most practiced sports among youth. And of course, this year, the big return, the big story, they're heading to Tokyo. Heading to Tokyo in May, how exciting is that very, for the sport? Very, very exciting. Women's Softball six-team event. And then a 16 baseball event for the men. Historic return. Adam Buckner. Well, if Huzaifi was a superstar for the Singapore team, he's no surprise if Bookton is one of the candidates for the Czech Republic after that big home run. Three run shot in the top of the fifth innings. Nice job. Very nice job. Didn't even get a chance to say, but that was off the starting pitch of Tarn. This was the first time seeing Jen. And Jen's been outstanding, hasn't he, since he's been in. Jason Cheng, a powerful left arm of his. Now Jakub Vazizcik. Jakub Vazizcik, I saw him in a couple of warm-up matches when uh, the Czech Republic came in to New Zealand. Instantly I thought he was the best hitter in the lineup, without a doubt, for the Czech team. 
hasn't quite got the luck going his way. He's batted well, don't get me wrong, his batting average is good. But not as much as it. I think it's playing on his mind a little bit. So he's just got to relax, trust in his abilities. He's a very able young man. Nice strike two, Jason Cheng. What an impression this young man has made on this contest, Jason Cheng. Just a two-run deficit for Singapore. Ball two, strike two. Well, you can hear the kids from North School, can't you? Go, Jason. They want him to do well as well. That's awesome. coming in. Oh, just the one out. And a wild pitch and comfortably. Vasish Chick advances to second. Uh, with a two-run lead here for the Czech Republic in the top of the seventh so this insurance run time they're looking for so now the runner at second base it's going to be a lot easier in the ball not taken behind the plate so Jakob Vasischik advances now to third base Watching Jason Chen there, his pitching index finger. See him rubbing it with his thumb as he was walking back. Hopefully nothing happening there for him because he's pitching really well. You can just see, can't you, Ken, that all of a sudden he's lost his control. I don't know whether he's got a blister on that finger or what's going on there. like head coach Hudahup isn't sure what's happening either and he's going to come out and see his pitcher find out what is wrong that you're alluding to Jason now being addressed by the coaching staff bearing in mind that this is an under 18 tournament they're just kids composure comes with maturity one would suggest so okay. these kids are very very young in their development yes indeed I can report Singapore do have the start and Matthew Tan up in the bullpen warming up again if they wish to re-enter him. And another. All those pitches are going low. Ball three now, strike one. Well, the only loose delivery we saw was that hit pitch on that rise ball tucking inside back in the last innings, but it's like they flicked a switch out there. That's better. Jason Chang will take some comfort out of that ball. That's Three much strike better, two. isn't it? Much better. Well, 
Well, Chen has found a way somehow to get it back on track here. All of a sudden, it's almost he flicked the switch back on, isn't he? Scott, the foul. We call it an insurance run because if the Czech Republic pick up another run here, two. It's a big task, but three on the way that Osuchka is throwing, it could be monumental. Laskar facing Ching, it's a low ball. Well, that's gutsy. He pulls out the change up on a loaded count, gets him on the front foot, and what it does do, though, it sets up for a quicker pitch now. The ball dropping. Ching. Jason Chang, that is a big out in the context of a couple of demons. I think he had to deal with early on in that exchange for him to come back and win that little contest emphatically. That is brilliant. It is brilliant and it's best there. An athlete hits the wall, finds out how to jump over it. In a loose pitch, scores Jakob Wasicic. That's a low ball, not taken by Chung Shun Kai cleanly. Really unfortunately here for Jason Cheng. He's been outstanding. Just the walk to Wasicic. And then now four pass balls through two batters have allowed them to grab that insurance run. Luniak. Foul ball. Ball two, strike two. Good ball, Jason. Ching. And with that, the third out. And that will return the side. Papa, score another run. In the top of the seven. We will go to the bottom. Well, the outstanding seven. effort there by Get Jason Chen. Another three strikeouts. That's five in total since he's come in the relief here. Last pitch is outstanding. The strikeout before that was one of his best coming back from those Pass balls that seem to have just lost the zone all of a sudden. He has given Singapore a chance. He's kept them in the ball game here. Only three runs of difference. But Singapore will have to come out firing just like they did when they came out in the fifth innings with three hits in a row. One was a home run. Well, that would work this time too, wouldn't it, to tie it up? It's been a great contest. Can Singapore do it? Of course they can. One of a number of 
outstanding kids at this tournament. Lo Zhu Dre, the first baseman. Jakub Sishka. Three meter tight swing here from Lo Zhu Dre. Drop ball well out of the zone. Strike two now. <laughs> Solid start for Sishka. Retiring. Low zoom great. The search crew has faced seven banners. Five of them he struck out. That's his MO, isn't it? Nash is on now at bat. Another strong strike from Osishka. Two now. Got to say though, Kent, Singapore, the rise of their nation at this tournament has been outstanding. The big win against Argentina, that was historic. But I'll tell you what else has been historic in my mind is their ability to take every team except for one the distance. Normally, Singapore is a team that. To be honest, if I'm honest with you, gets beaten up quite a lot. But not at this event. Canada, the full distance, 4-8. Of course, the big one yesterday. Good shot on that. Should be taken comfortably. No, a bit of confusion. All three fielders within touching position. None of them made the call. Oh, just what Singapore needs here. The death of the match. Do they two outs to play with? They get the dunk one with maybe a little bit of lady luck. And you. One now. Runner on first base. Me and you. You had a mixed bag today. The single to left field in the sin, uh, second innings. And flew out to left field in the fourth and a ground out to the pitcher in the fifth. Second at bat against Osiska. Big swing. All of a sudden, I thought Mexico had turned up. <laughs> That's the Singapore. This is Singapore dugout giving some support. And Orsishka retires. Ian Yu, which brings Mexico. Orsishka, all power, all business. Mexico. Sishka, well, he's come out straight away and right from the get go. Jason, he's flexed his muscles. Sure has. Boy, oh boy. Just pounds it through the zone. Only one out. Not coming via the strikeout since he's taken the mound.
42 pitches, 32 of them strikes. And the six strikeouts he's logged in the book so far. Next coat. There it is. Gorsishka finishes with an exclamation mark. He was brought on as a closer. He has been the starter in these opening four days. Change of role. He has been equally effective and practically unhittable. And they were comfortable at 1.5 runs to nil. Jakob or Sishka. And then came back to 5-3 or Singapore showing some ticker to come back. And then a late run put it beyond Singapore. So Czech Republic secure their third win of the tournament. And it's a significant one by six runs to three over Singapore. Fantastic effort here today in this matchup game 25 on day five. Couldn't start any better the last day of the round, Robbins. Group A, and you can see the door getting rammed shut as big number two takes the mound. He was outstanding. It is three innings of work. He had to give up two hits, seven strikeouts, and he needed 45 deliveries to take care of business. Did Jakob or Sichka there? Can't go past also Vic Kochi, the catcher. He was outstanding today. Three by three. Three hits from three at-bats. Two RBIs. Lots of applause from top to bottom for the Czech Republic. A dominant performance. One of the game's outstanding players over the course of the five days we've shown you so far. Orsishka, the pitcher, is alongside Stephen McIver. Jakob, another fine performance, this time as a, as a closer. How is that right arm? Oh, I came to the game not as good as prepared as to the Canada, but we made it. Yeah, very important when you needed that to go through to the Super and How do you just continue to perform like this day after day after day? Yeah, the Super Round or the playoffs are really very different tournament than this, this group's plays. So we have to go game after game and be, be focused on every, every play, every pitch that we, we play in the game. Are you expecting to be as busy in the Super Round? Probably yes, we'll see. It's up to our coaches, but as will they decide, it will be like that. You look like you're having fun. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, see you in the Super Round. See you. Thank you so much for the interview. You're more than welcome. Let's talk to the boss, shall we? Andre Strona, who is the head game. coach of the Czech Republic. Well, coach, got through, needed to get through, though. Yeah, absolutely. As you can hear, I can speak, so we have a lot of emotions in this uh, game, but we are in. That was the target. The Super Round was the target. Now you've got to wait, potentially, to start cheering on Canada. Yes, absolutely. As uh, same our pitcher. We go one by one next We'll see. Yeah, you must have been pretty impressed, though, with your backup pitcher today because he did a nice job to get, get the team rolling. Yeah, I think both of our pitchers good very well. I think good work for him. What's it like having a pitcher like Jakob? Yeah, it's, it's so nice, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than nice, mate. He's, he's, he's a star of this tournament. Thanks so much, and the best of luck in the Super Round. Thank you, everybody, and watch out. Yes, indeed. Six... Runs to three. This has been a Sky Sport presentation of the Under 18 Men's Softball World Cup on Sky Sport, the home of sport.